The Martin XB-51 represented one of aviation's most audacious experiments in the dawn of the jet age. Born from a February 1946 Army Air Force requirement to replace the Douglas A-26 Invader, this radical aircraft pushed the boundaries of conventional design when shifting requirements demanded 640 miles per hour speed with 4,000 pounds of ordnance over 600 miles. The XB-51's most striking feature was its three General Electric J47 GE-13 engines, producing 5,200 pounds of thrust each. Two engines hung in pods beneath the forward fuselage, while the third nestled in the rear fuselage with its intake atop the aircraft. This configuration delivered exceptional speed, 645 miles per hour at sea level, faster than most contemporary fighters. The aircraft featured 35-degree swept wings with 6 degrees of anhedral, equipped with leading-edge slats and full-width flaps. Variable wing incidence from 2 to 7.5 degrees automatically adjusted with flap deployment, optimizing performance across flight regimes. Spoilers provided primary roll control, with undersized ailerons offering pilot feedback. Martin's trademark rotating bomb bay door eliminated buffeting and speed restrictions of conventional twin-door systems. The single door accommodated various ordnance loads up to 10,400 pounds and allowed rapid mission reconfiguration. The tandem main landing gear with outrigger wheels provided stability but proved challenging for pilots unfamiliar with its characteristics. First flight occurred on October 28, 1949, with prototype 46685 demonstrating remarkable agility and speed, outpacing the competing English electric Canberra. However, the Korean War shifted priorities from speed to endurance and loitering capability. The XB-51's range limitations proved decisive. While faster and more maneuverable than the Canberra, it offered less than half the British aircraft's endurance. In February 1951, the United States Air Force selected the Canberra over the XB-51. Martin subsequently built 403 B-57 Canberras under license, incorporating the XB-51's rotating bomb bay design. Both XB-51 prototypes continued test flights until tragedy struck. The second prototype, 46686, crashed on May 9, 1952, during low-altitude aerobatics, resulting in the loss of Major Neil Lathrop. The surviving prototype appeared in the 1956 film Toward the Unknown, as the fictional Gilbert XF-120 fighter. On March 25, 1956, while en route to film additional scenes, 46-65 crashed during takeoff from El Paso, Texas, leading to the deaths of radio operator Staff Sergeant Wilbur Savage and pilot Major James Rudolph. The XB-51 exceeded manufacturer guarantees but arrived at the wrong time. Its revolutionary design influenced future aircraft development particularly the rotating bomb bay concept used in the B-57. Despite its brief existence, the XB-51 demonstrated that innovative thinking could produce aircraft far ahead of their time, representing both the potential and perils of pushing aviation technology to its limits in the early jet age.